Welcome one and welcome all, baby. I just want to share Phalaenopsis care tips with new beginners. How I actually got that fungal infection on my Phalaenopsis orchid. So I'm here cleaning out the aquarium. And as you can see, some of the water has spilled. And you're not able to see it as well on the glass, especially down here where it is black. And so some of those droplets of water, just a droplet, dropped inside of the Phalaenopsis orchid leaf. And because this is not a well-ventilated area down here, it's set in that heat. And girl, now my orchid is dead. Stay tuned. Welcome on back, Fal Pals. So now you are looking at my cat Leia Feather Ray Misty that I lost back in December because it was under the aquarium in the same location as the previous segment with the Uncidium. I did not know that water was dropping down. As you can see, the aquarium is painted black, so I'm not able to see small droplets of water. Now that I know about it, I won't make that same mistake again. Stay tuned. Welcome on back to what is a no judgment zone. So now that I have the flash on the camera, you're able to see that even some of that droplets of water got into the inside of the uncidium. Now to the naked eye, you're not able to see this. Okay, so as a result, some of your orchids might they might die because of, you know, lack of better care, if you will. But this can happen to anyone at any time. Even using watering cans, this can happen. You see, I'm not watering my orchids. So, baby, please be on the lookout. Keep these orchids well ventilated. So, welcome on back, baby. Well, we are avoiding fungal infections. Okay, so just care warnings and care tips for those that soak their orchids like I do. You know, instead of using a watering can, which is this right here, I'm just soaking them. I just put them in, bloop, and let them soak. However, when I pick them up, I will show you water droplets can still splash. That water droplet, those two right there, girl, this is enough to take your plant out. If it gets all the way in that crown, this is enough. That's enough. That's all it takes, especially in non-ventilated and cooler, okay, environments. This little darling right here had some water. To, you see it. So let's say that droplet of water rolls completely down. That's how you get crown rot. That's how you get it. So be careful when you do this right here. Because those droplets of water can still splash. So just make sure that even when we're soaking, that we give our orchids time to be ventilated. You know, a high fan going, if you will. Well, fail pals, I hope that this video made sense to you. And that you have a happy growing. Until next